Okay. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. I hope you all can hear me. Okay. So before we start the session, uh, let us start the session with the prayer. We can see, keep your eyes closed. Good morning. And you can just chant along with me or you can just observe the prayer. Close your eyes. Keep your hands in Namaste position. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Punaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Ejas Bina Vadi Tamastu Shanti Shanti so, who are not uh, talking? If you have any questions, you can unmute. Or when you are not talking, please mute yourself. Hi, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. Hi, I'll be here. Um, are you based in Singapore? Yes, yes. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Just wondering, since uh, this is my first time joining. Yeah, uh, it's first day. Yeah, today uh, to say, uh, we have started a teaching on my own. Then started to base all the. Sorry, your voice is breaking. Is this for everybody or is it only for me? Yes, it's breaking, uh, uh, Jyoti. Okay, well. Uh, no? It's okay, no? Yeah, it's better. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, it is just for well-being of people. We just expanded as it is free and online. Uh, you know, uh, it is the same to teach for one person or many people also. Okay. So the main uh, motto here is for well-being of people. We have st just started teaching. And today you, your friends, family, join. So basically, we'll, uh, we are going to cover uh, all the topics, starting from loosening, relaxing, asanas, pranayam, meditation. Complete. The topics will be around 18 to 20 hours, and we'll be covering our next. Five weekends, five six weekends we'll be covering. So whoever not uh, no issues, we will start from the basics and scratch. Okay. So if you have any questions, you can stop me at any point of time. So how this first session? So we will have explanation, limitations, benefits of every practice. From next session on, repeat the previous session practices, and then we will start and we will learn few new practices for that particular day. Okay. That's what happened. So if you miss some day also, you can continue. Okay. If you have any questions, you know, if you have uh, operations, you can contact your doctor. Okay. I hope you... Excuse me, sir. Sorry, your voice is there again. Are you a voice? Here, I'm sorry. Okay. How is it now? Is it fine now? Uh, the problem is with the Krishna Tukundla, sir. That uh, sound fan sound is coming. Yeah. So, uh, if you are not talking, uh, please mute yourself. I hope it will be fine because now it's on the land, right? Okay. So, before uh, you know, before you start practices, I have sent some guidelines to all of you in the email. So, basically, whoever had a recent surgery or I had any operations, please avoid practicing yoga, any asanas, okay? Yeah. Or if any pregnant women, please avoid doing uh, yoga asanas. And whoever joining from the phone, 
you know what you can do is you can pin my video from phone or laptop so that you don't adjust all the time whenever i start the session okay and i request everyone to mute yourself when you are not talking okay so i am muting all if you have any questions you can uh, raise you can unmute and you can talk later So I will give general instructions before we start the uh, start of the session. So every day before you start the class, uh, you, you need to maintain empty stomach condition. So empty stomach condition means four hours after meals, three hours after snacks, and two hours after beverages like tea, coffee, etc. Okay. So you need to maintain empty stomach condition. And why? And if you have any health issues like high blood pressure and heart disorders or any other health issues, so I will be giving the limitations. So this process you cannot cannot be done by certain people. So based on limitations, so listen to your body and decide whether you can practice that technique or not. Okay. So you need to take responsibility for yourself. Do not do all the practices. Feel comfortable. So listen to your body and do not compare with others. There will be certain people who will be join, who have joined. Since January 19th, so compare only with yourself and see how it transform yourself to the next level. Do not compare with others. Okay, start with today and see how it goes. Certain people, based on their physical anatomy of the body, so certain people can be good at uh, loosening exercises. Some people good at uh, pranayam. Some people good at breathing exercises. Some people good at uh, uh, asanas. Okay, so based on your anatomy of the body and how you kept your body since uh, for last few years, so that's how it depends. So do not compare with others; compare only with yourself. So if you want, you can maintain a journal from today. So you can after the yoga class, you can write down your uh, experiences or whatever the challenges you have faced. See how it transform yourself to the next level. Okay, so yoga is not for weight loss or for any other physical. Benefits. You need to look at yoga as a spiritual dimension. Then you will achieve the all other byproducts. Okay. So what are the byproducts? Weight loss. You know, increase in the concentration, diabetes control. These are all the side benefits. But when it comes to yoga, always focus to the its core dimension, which is spiritual, which is spirituality. Okay. So first, we are going to have breathing exercises. Okay. So the main difference between yoga and gym is in yoga we do slowly, consciously. Okay, it is not we don't do anything abruptly. We don't give any jerks at any posture. We always focus on the breath so that when you focus on the breath, your thoughts will be reduced. When your thoughts reduce, your brain will increase its productivity. That's how you transform yourself to the next level. Okay, so when you do any posture, simple posture also, you just focus on the breath. And focus on that particular part of the body, whichever asana we are doing. So that's how we are doing meditation externally. That's how it will help you to transform to the next level. Okay. So first we are going to have certain breathing exercises, and next we will have joints loosening and then body loosening. So today we are going to learn these practices, and all this loosening are very very important. First we need to prepare ourselves, our body to do yoga asanas. And then uh, followed by the in the next classes, and uh, we will have asanas. After asanas, we will have cleansing kriyas. Okay, we will do jaladavati, jalaneti, netrasan, couple of uh, cleansing techniques, and then we will learn the pranayams, meditation, kapalbhati, etc. And then we will do meditation. So this is how sequence of topics will happen in our uh, batch. Okay, but when it comes to practice. If you, you okay, yes, it is a weekend batch. You can we have daily practice sessions as well. If you want, if you want, you can join for daily practice session, or you can practice at your own. So, what is the best time to practice yoga? So, is the best time to practice yoga is at sunrise. Okay, in Singapore, the sunrise is around seven ten a.m. at an average. 
so more or less we are starting at 7 30 which is best time to do yoga practice okay so whatever time you have so please give priority for health if not now then it is going to be ne never and also for yoga online it is if it is not now it is not going to be never because of covid uh, because of our circumstances right so as we do not meet physically this is how we can improve our uh, thoughts in positive manner okay so yoga will help you to keep focused reduce your thoughts and as many people because of not having physical activity for last few years many people are facing you know like mental issues depression sleep disorders uh, gained weight and also few of the people lost uh, performances so all these things mainly because of not having physical activity and also not having positive mindset so yoga will help you to transform yourself to the next level and also to come out of all these situations see okay so how it uh, helps based on your commitment and practice the in the weekdays if you want to join you can uh, join our practice sessions it will happen around 7 15 to 8 15 singapore time okay and if you have any questions you can message me personally like for example recently we had some surgery or you have you have you have some knee pain something whether you can do this practice or not if you are hesitant to talk in public or in the group chat right you can message me personally or call me and do not harm yourself yoga is for well being so do not harm yourself and you feel free to not to do certain postures or certain asanas okay so these are all few guidelines before you start with okay so first uh, whenever i uh, start any new posture first i will demonstrate i will explain so first observe that then we will practice together along with and also uh, please turn your videos on so that i can see and correct if any corrections okay so do not feel shy so please feel free and turn your videos on so that i can correct okay so in the first, in the breathing exercises so let us start first one is hands in and out breathing okay so as i mentioned already always focus on the breathing so through breathing you control your mind okay so first observe then we will practice together you need to come to standing position first one hands together with the palms facing inwards palms together with the inhale take your hands to the chest level with the inhale then exhale bring your hands back to the starting position in front okay so you know if you remember if you observe throughout our classes for for any yoga asana or any yoga posture we will have starting position and then we will do the final position and then we will come back to the same starting position okay so wherever we start any asana we will come back to the same position so first one is hands in and out breathing so you need to bring your hands together in front palms together with inhale take hands to the chest level exhale bring back to the starting position so this is called hands in and out breathing okay next so, uh, inhale and exhale through the nose or uh, exhale yeah, through yeah, the mouth yeah. tarvat so, yeah. tarvat cheddi inhale through the nose whenever is inhale is through the mouth i will tell you where you will do inhale through the mouth we have uh, cooling pranayams in cooling pranayams we inhale through the mouth okay unless i tell inhale through the mouth by default inhale will be through the nose itself okay and exhale through the mouth no 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 exhale also through the nose okay okay so it's normal breathing okay next one is hand stretch breathing so please observe then we will practice together so interlock your fingers place over the chest with inhale take hands out palms facing outwards okay then exhale bring your hands back to the chest level palms facing inwards so like this we will do five times in front next 135 degree take your hands so palms facing outwards it's 135 degree it's not over the head it is 135 degrees slightly above then exhale bring your hands back to the chest with the palms facing inwards next take your hands out palms facing outwards over the head with inhale then exhale bring your hands back to the 
chest with palms facing inwards. This is called hand stretch breathing. Okay. Next one is ankle stretch breathing. Okay. So please observe. I am going to repeat once again. So do not practice now. Just observe. Next one is ankle stretch breathing. So how to do ankle stretch breathing? You are up on the toes. Up on the toes. Stretch your ankles. Inhale. Then exhale. Come down. Bring your feet down and bring your hands down. Okay. That is called ankle stretch breathing. So for example, when you are doing ankle stretch breathing, you need to inhale up on the toes. So when you do like this, so we are doing ankle stretch breathing. So focus on your ankles. So you are doing externally meditation on your ankles. Okay. So when you have injury or when you have pain, what we do? We focus on that particular part of the body. So that's how it will help naturally to cure, to cure itself. So that's how when you are doing any asana, okay, focus on that particular part of the body and focus on the breath. Okay. So we have seen hands in and out breathing, hand stretch breathing, and then ankle stretch breathing. Okay. So please observe, then we will practice together. So first one is hands in and out breathing. So we will take your hands in front, palms facing, in, palms facing inwards and palms together. With inhale, take hands out at the chest level and then exhale, bring back. So this is called hands in and out breathing. So these techniques, every day we are going to practice. We are going to repeat these techniques. Okay. So if you are not comfortable, certain postures, it will take time to uh, perfect uh, certain asanas. Okay. So do not worry. So keep your practice going. Then you will see one day that you were able to do all the postures with very ease. Okay. Next one is hand stretch breathing. For the hand stretch breathing, interlock your fingers, place over the chest, take hands out, palms facing outwards. Then exhale, bring back. So this is what we do in the hand stretch breathing for five times. Then one third five degrees. Okay, then over the head. So this is called hand stretch breathing. Next one is ankle stretch breathing. Ankles. So you need to up on the toes. Stretch your ankles with your hands raised. You will inhale. Then exhale, come down. So these are the three, uh, three exercises in standing with breathing. Okay. So please come to standing position. So please turn your videos on. I hope voice is clear now. So let us practice together. Please turn your videos on. Please come to standing position. Practice test. When you are not uh, talking, you are not talking. You are not talking. You are not talking. Practice together, everyone. First one is standing. Out breathing. Okay, come to standing motion. Feet together. Feet together. Bring your hands in front with palms together, palms facing inwards. Okay, please follow my instructions. One, with inhale, take hands to the chest level slowly and consciously. Then exhale, bring your hands back to the front. So it completes one round. So we need to do four more times. Two, then bring back. Three, with inhale, take hands to the chest level. Then exhale, bring back. Four, with inhale, take your hands to the chest level. Exhale, bring your hands back to the front. Five, inhale, take hands out to the chest level. Exhale, bring back. Okay, so do not do just like this. We are not doing gym or we are not doing exercise. So you need to focus on the breath. Okay, focus on the breath. Be conscious and do slowly. Next one is hand stretch breathing. Interlock your fingers. Place over the chest. With inhale, take hands out, palms facing outwards. Exhale, bring your hands back with palms facing inwards. 
so it completes one round so we need to do four more times to take hands out palms facing outwards exhale bring your hands back palms facing inwards three four and five so it is in front next 135 degrees with inhale take hands out palms facing outwards and exhale bring your hands back to the chest with the palms facing inwards so it completes one round so four more times two stretch your hands out palms facing outwards then bring your hands back to the chest then three four and five okay next over the head stretch your hands out palms facing outwards with inhale then bring your hands back to the chest with the palms facing inwards two three four and five okay so hands in and out breathing and then hand stretch breathing next one is an ankle stretch breathing okay so let us practice together everyone up on the toes with inhale hands raised exhale bring back it completes one round so we need to do four more times two up on the toes with inhale and come back to the starting position with exhale so then three up on the toes with inhale then come back to the starting position with exhale four up on the toes with inhale then come back to the starting position with exhale then five up on the toes with inhale hands raised with exhale come back to starting position okay so this is called ankle stretch breathing so these are the three breathing exercises we do in the standing position okay so now please come to the sitting position so next we have okay next one we have is tiger breathing okay so please observe then we will practice together so why we are doing this uh, breathing exercises based on the names so we have we forgot how to breathe okay so when you are child, when you are in uh, younger ages you know how to breathe but now as age grows as you acquire lot of knowledge we forget naturally how to breathe okay so meaning we are we are not breathing consciously breathing happens on its own okay so that's what that is the reason why we got many issues so when you are in tension or when you are stressed you get lot of thoughts okay when you are when you get lot of thoughts you can observe your breathing your breathing will be very rapid okay so to make yourself calm what to do you need to focus on the breath you need to reduce the number of thoughts how you can reduce number of thoughts by slowing your breathing inhale and slowing your exhale so when you reduce number of breaths you will reduce number of thoughts that's so how you can control your stress you can reduce your stress and make your mind calm okay even this is one of the reason when you get lot of thoughts you don't get sleep as well okay so we have few techniques to improve sleep disorders as well so we, which we will be covering later okay so first one is in the sitting position tiger breathing so please observe then we will practice together so body in the table position like this like four legs of the table okay palms facing inwards and all fingers together so with inhale take head up and exhale look down towards the abdomen okay then two look up with inhale exhale look down towards the abdomen so when you inhale take your head up your spine or chest downwards and when you exhale Look towards abdomen. Your spine arches upwards. Okay, so there will be slight arches tension in the spine upwards and downwards. Okay, so please observe 
I will show you another. Okay. So your body is in a table position like this. With inhale, take head up. Okay. Spine arches downwards. Exhale. Look towards abdomen. So spine arches upward. So this is called tiger breathing. Okay. So let us practice together, everyone. Come to the starting position. So body is in the table position. Okay. So this is a common position how you play with your kids, right? So first one is tiger breathing. With inhale, take head up, look up, and exhale, look towards abdomen. We complete one round. Four more rounds. Two. Inhale up. Spine arches downwards. Exhale. Look towards abdomen. Spine arches upwards. Three. Inhale. Look up. Exhale, look towards the abdomen. Four, inhale up. Exhale, look towards the abdomen. Five, inhale up, look up. Exhale, look towards the abdomen. Okay. Next, sit comfortably. So, this is called tiger breathing. Okay. So, next one is dog breathing okay so the, uh, these are the different patterns how we breathe okay so before doing the dog breathing so we need to learn the posture called vadrasan okay so vadrasan is common posture if you observe the children they will sit naturally in vadrasan okay but if you want to sit in vadrasan we will have a lot of pain at the ankles toes and we cannot sit in vadrasan for longer time Okay, so because of stiffness developed at our hip joints and legs, we cannot sit in Vajrasana for longer time. So if you observe uh, Japanese, right, they eat food in this position, Vajrasana. Okay, so Vajrasana means Vaj plus Asana. It is called diamond. So it is said that if you sit in this position, your spine will become like diamond and whatever you eat can be digested. Okay, so it is the best Asana after having food. Okay, by watching TV or reading newspapers, you can encourage to sit in Vajrasan. It will help for good digestion. Okay, so how to sit in Vajrasan? Okay, please observe. So bend your right leg at the knees and then bend your left leg at the knees. So you are going to sit between the space created between the heels. You are not going to sit on the heels directly. Okay, I will show you another angle as well. Okay, so please observe. So we, we, we are not going to sit on the heels like this. You need to create the space. Keep your uh, feet downwards on the ground. Create the space between the heels. Then sit on the space created between the heels. And keep your spine straight. Then hands on the side. Keep your palms facing downwards on the side. Look straight, keep your spine straight in all the posture. Okay, so this is called Vajrasana. Okay, let us sit everyone in Vajrasana. Okay, first you bend your right leg at your knees and then bend your left leg at the knees. So sit on the space created between the heels. Okay, so the important point is do not sit on the floor directly. Do not sit on the floor directly. It will hurt your ankles. Okay, so please sit on the uh, soft surface. So for example, when you do not have yoga mat, okay, so do not sit in Vajrasana for longer time. It will hurt your ankles or it may injure your uh, leg or feet. Okay, so always when you want to sit in Vajrasana, sit on good yoga mat which is very soft. Okay. Do not sit on hard surfaces. Let us sit everyone in Vajrasana. So it takes time. Initially, you might feel pain at the ankles or feet. Okay. So over a period of practice, you can see how you can be sitting in Vajrasana for very longer time. Okay. Initially, as a beginner, do not sit in Vajrasana for longer time. In, uh, listen to your body and mind. Based on your comfortness, sit for three minutes, four minutes. Then release your Vajrasana, loosen up and then sit back. Okay, so that's how we, you can increase the duration 
step by step. At a stretch, do not sit for longer time. Okay. So please sit in Madhurasan. Hands on the thighs. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Focus on the breath. Inhale and exhale. Slow inhale and slow exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now visualize your spine. Visualize your spine at the back. When you inhale, imagine the pran or chi in Chinese. Rising from bottom of the spine to up. And when you exhale, imagine the prawn or chi coming from top to the bottom of the spine. Okay. Inhale. When you inhale, visualize the prawn or chi rising from bottom of the spine to up. When you exhale, imagine the prawn coming from top to the bottom of the spine. So observe for three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Then four, inhale, visualize the spine and imagine the prawn rising from bottom of the spine to up with inhale. And when we exhale, imagine the prawn coming from top to the bottom of the spine. Okay, then again inhale, imagine the prawn rising from bottom of the spine to up to the head and when you exhale, Imagine the prawn coming from top to the bottom of the spine. Okay. Then slowly open your eyes and release your Vajrasana. So when you are feeling tense or when you feel stressed, okay. So once you come back to office, come back from office, just sit in Vajrasana, close your eyes, just observe the breath for a few minutes. So what will happen? Whatever the cycle of thoughts happening throughout the day since morning, it will break the cycle pattern. The thoughts pattern will be... Uh, Will be broken and then you can be present at this moment okay so otherwise what happened whatever the stress or whatever the issues you had in the office will continue in the home as well so just to break the same cycle of thought once you return from office you can sit in vajrasana just observe the breath for a few minutes so it will break the, the the cycle of thoughts which is happening since morning then you can be present at this moment okay so next one we are going to learn dog breathing okay so for dog breathing, you are going to sit in Vajrasana. For dog breathing, you are going to sit in Vajrasana. That is initial position. Okay. Then keep your palms just beside the knees. Keep your palms just beside the knees and palms facing downwards. Palms facing downwards. Just keep your palms just beside the knees. Okay. So then observe. So how dog, uh, how dog breaths, okay, it will keep its tongue out and you can see, you know, uh, it will be rapid inhale, rapid exhale. So that's how dog breathes, okay. So please observe, then we'll practice together. Uh, bring your tongue out and spread it widely, okay. So it is rapid in. It is forceful inhale and forceful exhale. It is not shallow breathing. It is full inhale and full exhale. Okay. So that is how dog breaths. It is called dog breathing. So we are doing tiger breathing, dog breathing. Next we are going to do rapid breathing and other breathing as well. How it helps? It will help to uh, open up different channels in your body. Okay. When you uh, like different sections of the body will be activated. And you, you can see improvement in the way you breathe because of these different sections of breathing. Okay. So let us practice together everyone. Come to the Vajrasan. If you are not able to sit in Vajrasan, you can sit comfortably in a cross leg position. Okay. Please come to the Vajrasan. And then keep your palms just beside the knees. Palms just beside the knees. And keep your spine straight. So do not lean like this. Keep your spine straight. Look in front. Do not look down. Look in front and palms facing downwards. Okay. So this is a starting position. Okay. Then keep your mouth open widely and tongue is spread out widely. Inhale through the mouth. 
here we are going to inhale through the mouth exhale through the mouth not through the nostrils okay let us proceed for five times one so continue at your own pace for five to ten times so do not feel shy so please practice at your own pace at your own comfortness okay full inhale full exhale so if you have flum at the chest we can see some some income some uncomfortness okay so over a period of practice you can feel very comfortable so it takes time so if you are not able to practice certain practices do not worry with practice over a period of time you will improve every practice so this is called dog breathing okay so next one is rabbit breathing so please observe so for rabbit breathing also initially you will sit in vadrasana okay so then keep your palms facing downwards your elbow your elbow should be just beside the knees not in front but just beside the knees elbow must be beside the knees then bring your palm, hand down palms facing downwards so similarly your right elbow down palms facing downwards okay so you are going to look at a point just in between your hands look at one hand distance look at a point and your chin should be one palm distance away from the ground your chin should be one palm distance away from the ground and look, you look at a point one palm distance in front between your hands okay then mouth is open partially in the tiger breathing our mouth is open widely so that's how it helps to rapid inhale rapid exhale but here we are going to do shallow breathing in rapid breathing so open your mouth partially and your lower lips will be over the lower teeth lower lips will be over the lower teeth you are going to inhale through the mouth then close your mouth exhale through the nostrils okay so we are going to inhale through the mouth then close your mouth exhale through the nostrils please observe i will do one uh, one round demonstration then we will practice together okay so keep your elbow just beside the knees then bring your hands down palms facing downwards and look at a point between your hands one palm distance and then your chin should be one palm distance away from the ground okay then lower lips will be over the lower teeth open your mouth partially and inhale through the mouth exhale okay please observe we are going to inhale exhale through the mouth only okay in cooling pranayams we will exhale through the nostrils so please observe it is shallow breathing which will happen at chest level okay so how to, please observe so lower lips will be over the lower teeth lower lips and keep your mouth open partially okay so here also we are going to inhale and exhale through the mouth only okay then the breathing will happen at chest level and it is shallow breathing it is not full inhale full exhale it happens at shallow level at chest level okay so let us practice together everyone please sit in vadrasan please sit in vadrasan then just beside the knees bring your elbow down on the ground just beside the knees then bring your hand down elbow down palm facing downwards okay then look at a point one palm distance in between the hands then your chin should be one palm distance away from the ground and open your mouth partially lower lips will be over the lower teeth you are going to inhale exhale through the mouth itself okay please proceed at your own pace please proceed for 5 to 10 times at your own pace please proceed for 5 to 10 times okay so if you are eaten lot of Sorry. Can you show us how to do the breathing again? Yes. Yeah, you know, uh, side position. We just want to see the side position. Yeah, sure, sure. So you sit it here. Okay. Keep your elbow on the ground, just beside the knee. 
palm facing downwards okay open your mouth partially lower lips over the lower teeth okay So let us practice together, everyone. Please sit in Madrasan. Please sit in Madrasan. You have to inhale through mouth and exhale. Yeah, through mouth only. Inhale, exhale through the mouth itself. No, no, no nostril. Not through the nostrils. Yeah. Okay. So we have other breathing where we exhale through the nostril, but here inhale, exhale through the mouth itself. Okay. 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 Yeah. Please sit in Madrasan. Then keep your elbow on the ground. And bring your hands down, palms facing downwards. Look at a point in, in between your hands, one palm distance. And your chin is one palm distance away from the ground. And lower lips over the lower teeth. Open your mouth partially. And proceed, inhale and exhale at your own pace. Okay, then slowly come back to vertical position. So we have seen tiger breathing, dog breathing, rapid breathing. Next one is Shashankasan. Or in Sanskrit it is called Shashankasan or we can call it as moon posture breathing. Okay. So for this, the initial position is Vajrasan. You need to sit in Vajrasan. Take your hands backwards. Okay. Left palm will hold your right wrist. If you are right hander or left hander, doesn't matter. The left palm will hold your right wrist. And make fist with your right hand. So you need to make fist with your right hand. And left palm will hold your right wrist. Okay. Exhale first. Then inhale fully. Once you have sufficient air in the lung. Slowly bend forward. Synchronizing your exhalation. This is very important. Do not exhale air itself. You need to synchronize your exhalation. Bend forward. Once you reach the final position. Your exhale is complete. Then normal breathing so do not hold your breath normal breathing inhale and exhale for few seconds then slowly come back to vertical position synchronizing your inhalation so once you come back to vertical position your inhale is complete so that is very important when you go down you need to synchronize your exhalation so do not exhale here itself and then when you come back to vertical position you need to synchronize your inhalation Okay, so just remember when you are whenever you are going towards the gravitation of the earth, you will exhale. When you are going towards the gravitation of the earth, you will exhale. When you are coming away from the gravitation of the earth, you will inhale. So this is our natural process. So you remember these two important points so that in asanas you will be aware of how to breathe. Okay, so when you are going away from the when you are going towards the gravitation of the earth, you will exhale. It is natural process. No need to do any effort. And when you come away from the gravitation of the earth, you will naturally inhale. So that's what we are doing here. Okay. So please sit in Vajrasan. How to keep your hands? Take your hands backwards. Make fish with your right hand. And left palm will hold your right wrist. Left palm will hold your right wrist. <coughs> Exhale fully. Then inhale. Once you have sufficient air in the lung, synchronizing your exhalation, bend forward. You need to synchronize your exhalation, bend forward. So once you reach the final position, normal breathing, inhale and exhale for few seconds, then slowly come back to vertical position, synchronizing your inhalation. Then keep your hands back on the thighs. So you come back to the Vajrasana. Okay, so let us practice together everyone. Please sit in Vajrasana. Please sit in Vajrasana, take your hands backwards. Left palm will hold your right wrist. Left palm will hold your right wrist and make fist with your right hand. Make fist with your right hand. So do not uh, do do not do it. Okay. First exhale fully. Now inhale fully. Once you have sufficient air in the lungs, slowly bend forward, synchronizing your ex exhalation. You need to synchronize your exhalation, bend forward. So once you reach the final position, your exhale is complete. 
then normal breathing do not hold your breath try to inhale and exhale for few seconds so you can see that lot of blood will be rushing to the forehead after couple of inhale and exhale slowly synchronizing your inhalation come back to vertical position then bring your hands back on the thighs and release your vajrasana okay so it is called shashankasan or moon posture breathing so in the sitting postures we have seen four types of breathing first one is tiger breathing next dog breathing next rapid breathing the final one which we have done just now is shashankasan or moon posture breathing okay so we have learned while standing and while sitting next while lying down on the back we will learn how to how to do breathing exercise while lying down on the back okay so please observe then we will practice together lie down on your back feet together feet together hands raised over the head hands raised over the head okay with inhale take right leg up 90 degrees and exhale bring down so it is called alternate leg raise breathing after right leg left leg inhale left leg up exhale bring your left leg down so it completes one round so we need to do four more rounds two so inhale right leg up exhale bring your right leg down then with the left leg okay so it is called alternate leg raise breathing next both leg raise breathing please observe we will practice together later so bring your feet together hands raised over the head so this is the initial position lying down on the back keep your eyes open okay in the both leg raise breathing raise both legs up 90 degrees inhale then down with exhale it completes one round so like that we will do five times two inhale raise your both legs up 90 degrees then exhale bring your both legs down so both feet together heels together feet together your big toe together okay so we are not going to do like this we are going to do like this feet together okay so let us practice together everyone please lie down on your back lie down on your back so this is the starting position for supine postures so we are going to learn the postures later so for that it is a starting position okay please lie down on your back keep your eyes open bring your feet together feet together hands raised over the head hands raised over the head yeah keep your eyes open do not close your eyes focus on the breath always so please follow my instructions with inhale right leg up 90 degrees only right leg not left leg then exhale bring your right leg down then inhale left leg up exhale left leg down so it completes one round so we will do four more rounds two inhale right leg up 90 degrees so no bend in the knees exhale bring your right leg down inhale left leg up 90 degrees no bend in the knees do not lift your other leg exhale bring your left leg down inhale right leg up 90 degrees exhale down then inhale left leg up 90 degrees and exhale down okay then relax for few seconds close your eyes feet apart hands by the side of the body just close your eyes inhale and exhale just relax for few seconds continue to relax so what i observed so few people uh, they are bending the knees when you when you raise your uh, in left leg or right leg do not bend your knees okay do not bend your knees that is one point and one more thing when you raise your right leg left leg should be on the ground no bend in the left knee also do not raise your left knee okay so when you are raising one leg the other leg should be on the ground do not raise the other leg okay so let us practice together once again alternate leg raise breathing feet together hands raised over the head okay 
प्लीज फॉलो मै इंस्ट्रक्शन इनहेल राइट लेग अप नाइंटी डिग्रीज एक्सेल बिंग योर राइट लेग डाउन इनहेल लेफ्ट लेग अप नाइंटी डिग्रीज एक्सेल लेफ्ट लेग डाउन सो इट कंप्लीट वन डाउन प्रोसीड फॉर थ्री मोर राउंड इनहेल राइट लेग अप नाइंटी डिग्रीज Exhale, right leg down. Proceed at a, at your own pace. First, right leg, then left leg. Inhale and exhale. When you inhale, you will raise your leg up ninety degrees. When you exhale, bring your leg down. Okay. So this is called alternate leg raise breathing. Okay. Next, we are going to do both leg raise breathing. We are going to do both leg raise breathing. Okay. Come to starting position. Feet together, hands rise toward the head. Feet together, hands rise toward the head. Come to starting position. Now please follow my instructions. Both legs up ninety degrees with inhale. So both legs up ninety degrees. No bend in the knees. No bend in the knees. Exhale. Bring your both legs down. So it completes one round. Proceed for four more times. Two. Inhale. Both legs up ninety degrees. Exhale. Bring your both legs down. So it completes two rounds. Three. Inhale. Both legs up ninety degrees. Exhale. Bring your both legs down. Then four. Inhale. Both legs up ninety degrees. Exhale down. Inhale. Both legs up ninety degrees. Exhale down. Okay, so in yoga we do stretch at the same time we do relaxing as well. Okay, so let us do instant relaxation technique. So please lie down on your back, lie down on your back. So we are going to do first relaxation technique. Lie down on your back. Do not come up. Lie down on your back. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. So please follow my instructions. Close your eyes. Feet together. Feet together. hands by the side of the body lie down on your back close your eyes feet together hands by the side of the body inhale exhale hands by the side of the body not away from the body just keep by the side of the body okay now follow my instructions start tightening from the toes Ankle joints, calf muscles, knee caps. Tighten your thigh muscles. Tighten your pelvic region. Tighten buttock muscles. Tighten your abdominal muscles. Tighten chest muscles. Tighten your lower back, upper back. Tighten your neck muscles. Make fist with your both hands. Tighten your whole arms. Start tightening from toes to head, whole body. Tighten, 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 and release. Legs and arms go apart with open palms facing the ceiling. Enjoy the instant relaxation. Slowly come back to sitting position. Once you relaxed enough, slowly come back to sitting position. Okay. So this this is all about breathing exercises. So we are going to practice every day. Whenever we start the session for that particular day, we will repeat this breathing exercises. Okay. So next one is joints loosening. 
okay so what are the joints we have starting from the toes from the toes ankles knee joints then hip joints waist muscles right and then these are all the lower limbs starting from toes to hip joints it is called lower limbs then upper limbs like fingers next wrist elbows then shoulders and then neck joints so these are all the joints we have if you do any asana so we are going to use only these joints okay so when your joints are not you know uh, relaxed enough or when your joints are not performing well so when you do certain asanas so there will be chance of getting injured okay so we are preparing ourselves to do yoga asanas so this joints loosening are very very important so lot of acids or lot of uh, the bad uh, prana will be stuck in the joints so with this joints loosening what we do we will clean all those bad karma we will clean all those the stiffness in the joints okay so that it will reduce the chance of getting injured when you do any asana or when you do any exercises okay so what will happen generally when you wake up in the morning so just do some kind of running or do some yoga posture so you are not prepared your body so there is a chance of getting injured so you need to prepare yourself so when you sleep for 8 hours 9 hours when you wake up your body is not ready to do any asana or any exercises so first you need to loosen up loosen your body prepare your body how to prepare first you will focus on the breathing then we will do joints loosening and body loosening then we will do asanas once we do asanas we will relax after relaxing we will do certain meditation then we will end our practice okay so when you practice in the home every day so if you have 15 minutes or 20 minutes 30 minutes based on your time so decide this sequence so based uh, this is how you need to practice so focus on the breathing first then do some uh, loosening exercises then do asanas then do the meditation and then end the practice okay so if you have only 5 minutes or 10 minutes so do not, do not try to do all the practices in 5 minutes or 10 minutes so yoga is not about doing things abruptly it is doing about slowly and consciously okay so let us learn the joints loosening so these joints loosening are very very important okay so first one is toe stretch so as i mentioned every asana will have starting position so this is a starting position so stretch your legs in front stretch your legs in front toes pointing towards the body toes pointing towards the body keep your hands just beside the keep your hands just beside the body and palms facing downwards okay so do not put more pressure on your spine just your hands will help to make your spine straight so we are, we are not putting any pressure on the spine so okay stay like this and then just keep your hands by the side of the body with palms facing downwards which will make your spine more lengthen it will make your spine more lengthen when you keep your hands just beside the body palms facing downwards okay so this is the initial position or starting position for the joint loosening so first one is toe stretch so please observe then we will practice together so how to do toe stretch we are going to do for five times you can keep your breathing normal okay so toe stretch and then release stretch okay release so like this we are going to do five times it is called toe stretch so your feet together your feet together your big toes are touching each other and close all okay bring your all toes together then release so it is called toe stretch next one after toes what joint we have we have ankle joints okay so please observe then we will practice together next one ankle stretch how to do ankle stretch okay stretch your ankles like this it is a slightly 45 degrees away from the ground your feet then up bring your both ankles down both your feet down stretching your ankles okay we are already we have learned already while standing we have done ankle stretch breathing so we are going to focus on the ankle joints stretch your feet down and up down and up so this is how we are going to do for five times okay then feet together we are going to rotate our ankles clockwise and anti clockwise okay so clockwise five times with feet together and big toe touching each other okay clockwise five times then anti clockwise five times okay so these are all the part 
part of joint sluicing because so how to remember joint sluicing so sit in this position so first toes then ankles knees hip joints so this is for lower limbs next upper limbs fingers wrist elbows shoulder joints then neck joints so this is how you can remember how to do joint sluicing okay so let us practice together everyone first one toe stretch come to starting position Stretch your legs in front and toes pointing towards the body, and keep your hands by the side of the body, palms facing downward. It will help you to make your spine lengthen. Okay, so let us practice first one toe stretch. One, two, keep your breathing normal. Three, four, and five. So we are not up. We are not moving the feet. Okay. so it is not feet we are not moving the feet feet is constant static and we are moving only the toes toes up and toes down so do not move your feet okay let us practice everyone next ankle stretch okay 1 2 so here here you are not using the toes we are stretching the ankle bring your feet down and bring up so like that five times okay next one ankle rotation keep your feet together rotate your ankles clockwise five times 1 2 3 4 and 5 then anti clockwise 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so it is with the toes and ankle next we have knee joints okay so how to do for knee joints first one is lift your knee caps up and down you need to use the support of your thigh muscles use the support of your thigh muscles lift your knee caps up and down 1 2 3 like that we will do five times you need to lift your knee caps up and down With help of your thigh muscles, okay. Next one, knee rotation. <clears throat> first, we will do with the right leg. All the postures we will do first with the right hand or right leg. Then we will do with the left leg, okay. So interlock your fingers, hold behind the thigh. Interlock your fingers, hold behind the thigh. So knee rotation. First one is clockwise. Clockwise five times. Then anti-clockwise five times. Okay. Next, change the leg with the left leg. Interlock your fingers. Hold behind the thigh. Proceed for clockwise five times. Then anti-clockwise five times. So it is with the knee joints. Okay. So let us practice together, everyone. Come to starting position. Stretch your feet in front. Toes pointing towards the body. Toes pointing towards the body. Hands by the side of the body. Palms facing downwards. Okay. First one, lift your knee caps up and down. One, two, three. Use the support of your thigh muscles. Four and five. Okay. So next one is knee rotation. First with the right leg. Interlock your fingers. Hold behind the thigh. Proceed for clockwise five times. Keep your spine straight. Do not lean backward or do not lean forward. Then anti-clockwise five times. Okay. Then release your right leg. Then with the left leg, interlock your fingers, hold behind the thighs. Proceed for clockwise five times. Then anti-clockwise five times. next with the hip joints okay for hip joints so please observe then we will practice together so bend your right leg right feet on the left thigh right feet on the left thigh then start flapping your right leg so you can hold your right hand hold your right knee and start flapping up and down it is called half butterfly 
so what will happen it will open up your hip joints okay so it will help you to sit in it will help your padmasan posture so we will learn padmasan posture later so it is called half butterfly with right leg and then with the left leg so bend your left leg left feet under right thigh start flapping your left leg so it will open up your hip joint it is called half butterfly okay next one full butterfly please observe then we will practice together so interlock your fingers hold your toes interlock your fingers hold your toes very firmly and then bring your feet closer to the body bring your feet closer to the body so that your heels will come closer to the your pelvic region heels will come closer to the pelvic region and look in front do not round your spine do not look in front like this keep your spine straight look in front then full butterfly swing both legs up and down at equal face full swing okay so it is not like you shaking the legs it's full swing up and down so you need to focus on the base of the spine so continue to start flapping both legs up and down full swing so do not give any jerks it will help you to make your spine stronger okay it will help your it will strengthen your spine and also it will help to improve your padmasan posture so it is called full butterfly Let us practice together, everyone. First one, half butterfly. Come to starting position. So bend your right leg, right feet under left thigh, right feet under left thigh. Now right hand will hold the right knee. Start clapping. See that your hip joints are opening up. So it is called half butterfly. Start clapping with full swing. Increase the pace faster, so you can do loosening exercises faster. But asanas we will do slowly and consciously. You can increase the pace at your own pace. Okay, then release your right leg. Then with the left leg, left feet under right thigh. Start flapping. Okay, then release your left leg. So next, let us do full butterfly. Interlock your fingers, hold your toes very firmly. Then bring your feet closer to the body, and heels will come closer to the pelvic region. Look straight, look straight. Do not look down. Do not round your spine. Look straight. Look in front. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Focus on the base of the spine. Do not do any full butterfly. So please follow my instructions. Close your eyes. focus on the base of the spine inhale exhale so it is called bandhasan okay slowly open your eyes with same awareness continue to focus on the base of the spine proceed for full butterfly please proceed for full butterfly at your own pace full swing do not give any jerks so left leg and right leg at equal pace Up and down. Try to see if you can touch your thighs to the ground. So look in front. Do not look look down. Do not round your spine. So it is called full butterfly. So it will open up your hip joints. Okay. Now slowly release. Okay. Next one. So we have learned toes, ankles, knees, and hip joints. Next one is we have waist, waist, waist muscles as well. Okay. For the waist joints, what we do? Waist rotation. So please observe. Then we will practice together. So spread your legs apart. Spread your legs apart. Okay. You need to rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise your waist. So focus on your waist. Do not focus on your hand movement. Please observe. Then we will practice together. okay so interlock your fingers interlock your fingers hold your hands like this okay so we are going to do clockwise and anti clockwise okay please observe and we will practice together so go to the right side 
stretch, then come back. So rotate your waist as much as possible. Then to the touch your left feet, and again go to right feet. Then slowly come back, and then again come back to the left, to the right. So see how much you can stretch. So you are doing full rotation of your waist. Then anti-clockwise. Okay. So it will help to reduce your abdominal fat as well and to reduce your waist size. Okay. So we will do clockwise and anti-clockwise. So waist rotation. So do not spread your feet too much. So just comfortably spread your feet apart. Okay. Let us do waist rotation clockwise and anti-clockwise. Spread your legs apart. Then hold your uh, interlock your fingers. Hold your hands like this. Proceed for clockwise and anti-clockwise. So do the stretch and focus on your waist movement. Do not focus on your hands. Touch your left feet, right feet. Then come back. Then again to the left side and left feet, right feet. For clockwise five times. Rotate fully. Focus on your waist joints. Then anti-clockwise. Yeah, it's fine. So clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay. So few people, right? They are doing just like this. Okay. So maybe you do not have flexibility at the waist. Okay. So yes, we are doing only trend. So you need to do full rotation. Okay. So please observe. So come to the backwards, lean backwards again to sideways. So full, we need to do full rotation. Clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay, next, so we have seen lower limbs. Next, we will learn the upper limbs exercises. Upper limbs, upper limbs, first one, fingers, next wrist, then elbows, then shoulders. Okay, so these exercises are very, very important, especially for those who work in IT, because once you get 36, uh, once you get age of 40, 45, you will see the stiffness in the shoulders. So because of lot of typing on the keyboard or using the mobile phones for longer time. So we develop stiffness in the shoulders. Okay. So the natural problem are most of the people face the shoulder stiffness. Okay. So these exercises which we are going to learn will help to loosen up your stiffness in the shoulders. Okay. These are very, very important exercises. You can practice shoulder exercises even after food in the office while you sit for work after lunch. You can practice the shoulder exercises. So these are very, very important shoulder exercises. <coughs> so first observe. <coughs> Then we will practice together. Okay. So for doing shoulder exercises or upper like uh, upper upper limbs exercises, you can sit in Padmasan, you can sit in Vajrasan, you see, or you can sit in crossed legs position or any other position, comfortable position. Even you can sit on the chair. Okay. So that's why in the after lunch in the office, you can practice while sitting on the chair also. So first one is finger stretch. So please observe, then we will practice together. <coughs> okay. Keep your palms in front like this. Okay. Then make fist like this. Then release. Close your fingers with a fist. Okay. Then release. So it is called finger stretch. Bring your fingers together with a fist. Then release and make your fingers spread widely. So we will do for five times. It is called finger stretch. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> so you can relate this one with the toe stretch. So what we have done first toe stretch, then ankle stretch. Okay. So similarly the wrist stretch. So keep your palms in front like this. One, two. So we are going to just stretch our wrist up and down. So you can relate this one with the toes and then ankles. Next one we have done ankle rotation as well. So we do wrist rotation also. So make fist with your both hands, proceed for clockwise. So both palms should go in the same direction. It is not like one palm go inwards, one palm go outwards. Okay. So initially, so you cannot make both palms in the same direction. It will take practice to keep both palms in the same direction. <clears throat> okay. 
so clockwise five times and then anti clockwise five times okay next <clears throat> so please observe then we we'll practice together next one is elbows flex okay so with elbows we can do only two movements one is flex and stretch so other than these two postures we don't do anything other than with elbow joints okay so flex and stretch so it is called elbows flex <clears throat> next one the next one is shoulder rotation okay so keep your hands on the shoulders so we are going to clockwise five times like this and then anti clockwise five times okay so these are all the exercises with upper limbs okay so let us practice together everyone so first one is please observe finger stretch so you will bring your fingers together then spread your fingers widely so you can keep breathing normal breathing normal like this we are going to do five times so let us practice one two three four and five next wrist to stretch one two three four five next wrist rotation make fist with your both hands proceed by clockwise five times both palms in the same direction then anti clockwise okay next elbows flex make fist with your both hands palms facing the ceiling okay then flex stretch flex stretch 3 4 and 5 okay next one shoulder rotation let us proceed for shoulder rotation keep your hands over the shoulders keep your hands over the shoulders proceed for clockwise and anti clockwise clockwise one shoulder rotation two three four and five okay next anti clockwise one two three four and five so these are all the basic shoulder exercises okay in our future classes we are going to do extensive shoulder exercises okay so these are all the basic shoulder exercises next what is the next joint the neck joints okay so for the neck joints we have four type of exercises please observe then we will practice together okay first one is neck up and down with inhale bring your neck up and exhale bring your neck down so it is for five times okay next type 2 so please observe then we will practice together in the type 2 bring your neck side by side over to the right shoulder then come to the center then over to the left shoulder then back to the center okay so how to inhale and exhale when you bring your neck to the center when you take your neck away from the center exhale when you bring your neck to the center inhale okay next one is neck to the left and right so we are not giving any jerks so some people do like this but here we are not doing like that we are not giving any jerks so please observe uh, bring your neck to the left side then come to the center then to the right come to the center okay so again come to the left to the center again to the right to the center so how to inhale and exhale when you take your neck away from the center exhale when you take your neck to the center back inhale okay the next one is the final one is neck rotation how to do neck rotation your chin will touch the base of the throat your chin will touch the base of the throat and you are going to proceed for clockwise and anti clockwise normal breathing okay please observe to the left side to the back to the right side back to the center okay so it is clockwise in anti clockwise go to the right side backwards left side back to the center okay 
is it called clockwise and anti clockwise so let us practice together everyone so neck exercises we have four types okay so this neck exercises are very very important so especially those who work in it because of lot of typing a lot of looking at the monitors for longer durations and also we see uh, mobile phones right for longer durations right like this so what will happen so most of the people at ages 40 they are developing spondylosis okay the stiffness in the neck joint the pain in the neck it will start happening okay so it is a very important time we focus on shoulder exercises and neck exercises we are going to focus and stress more on the shoulder and neck exercises in our future classes okay so let us practice together everyone first one neck up and down okay bring your head up with inhale neck up exhale down so it completes one down proceed for four more rounds two with inhale neck up exhale down three inhale head up exhale down four and five okay it is it is a type one exercise okay next one type two go to the right shoulder come to the center go to the left come to the center so it completes one round proceed for four more rounds when you bring when you take your neck away from center exhale and when you bring your neck to the center inhale then to the left and back to the center proceed for three more rounds three exhale neck to the right inhale to the center exhale to the left and back to the center okay four and five okay next neck to the left and right so here we are not giving any jerks to the left center right center okay proceed for five times one When you exhale, take your neck away from the center. Inhale, bring your neck to the center. Then five. Okay. Next, neck rotation. Your chin will touch the starting position. Your chin will touch the base of the throat. So it is called chin lock or Jalandhar Ban. We are going to learn mudras later. So it is called Jalandhar Ban. Your chin will touch the base of the throat. Proceed for clockwise five times. Rotate your neck fully to the left, back, right, center. Proceed for five times. Once you are done for the five times in the clockwise, proceed for anti-clockwise. Okay, then release your vajrasan. Sit comfortably. Okay, so this is what for today's session we have learned breathing exercises. Then we have done, learned the joints loosening. Okay, so after the recap of the session, we will do quick relaxation technique and then we will end the session with a prayer. Okay, so before that, if you have any questions, you can unmute and let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. You are able to follow, right? Okay. So if you have any questions at any point of time, you can stop me. So always important remember that do not compare with others. Only listen to your body and mind. Okay. Decide whether you can practice that particular technique or not. Okay. Feel free to not to do as well. Okay. So it is not that we need to do everything because others are doing. So it, it depends on our anatomy of the body. We decide whether to do practice or not. Okay, so just to recap, okay, so I will tell the posture's name. Let us see whether you can able to do or not. Okay, so 
the shoulder rotation sit in vadrasan sit in vadrasan let us see whether you can you are able to do just for the practice do the shoulder rotation clockwise five times clockwise five times and anti clockwise five times okay next knee rotation knee rotation knee 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 rotation yeah so stretch your legs in front interlock your fingers hold behind the thighs proceed for the clockwise and anti clockwise with your right leg then with the left leg okay next dog breathing dog breathing so at least initial position most of the people sit initially very good so you need to sit in the vadrasan keep your palms just beside the knees palms facing downward keep your tongue out inhale exhale fully through the mouth only so it is dog breathing okay next shashankasan shashankasan or moon posture breathing moon posture breathing yeah take your hands backwards left palm will hold your right wrist exhale fully first then inhale fully then while exhaling synchronizing your exhalation bend forward okay then after couple of inhale and exhale you will come back to the vertical position synchronizing your inhalation okay so i will just repeat the postures what we have learnt just for recap okay so what we have learnt first one is hands in and out breathing so please observe hands in and out breathing so you will come to standing position take your hands in front palms facing each other inhale take hands out to the chest level exhale bring back so we will do for five times like this it is called hands in and out breathing next one hands stretch breathing interlock your fingers place over the chest with inhale take hands out palms facing outwards exhale bring your hands back to the chest with the palms facing inwards so like this we will do for five times next over the 180 degrees so take your hands out palms facing outwards with inhale then bring your hands back to the chest with the palms facing inwards so like this we will do five times next over the head take hands out palms facing outwards then bring your hands back to the chest so like this we will do five times it is called hand stretch breathing next ankle stretch breathing ankle stretch breathing up on the toes stretch your ankles with hands raised then exhale bring back to the normal position so like this we will do for five times these are the three exercises in breathing while standing next in the sitting boy in the sitting postures the we have four breathing exercises first one is tiger breathing so your body is in the table position with inhale head up with spine arches downwards exhale look towards abdomen spine arches upwards so like this we will do five times it is called tiger breathing okay next dog breathing so before that we learned how to sit in vajrasan okay bend your right leg at the knees bend your left leg at the knees you need to create the you need to sit on the space created between the heels do not sit on the heels okay when you sit in vajrasan make sure that you are sitting on the yoga mat and make sure that the surface is soft okay do not sit on the hard sur hard surfaces otherwise it will hurt your ankles okay next one is dog breathing okay keep your palms just beside the knees keep your palms just beside the knees palms facing downwards okay keep your tongue out mouth is open widely inhale exhale through the mouth it is full inhale full exhale okay it is called dog breathing next one is rabbit breathing sit in vadrasan keep your elbow just beside the knee then keep your elbows on the ground palms facing downwards okay look at a point one palm distance between your hands and then your chin is one palm distance away from the ground lower lips over the lower teeth we are going to inhale exhale only through the mouth 
not through the nostrils inhale exhale only through the mouth it is shallow breathing okay so that is called rapid breathing next one shashankasan or moon posture breathing take your hands backwards left palm will hold your right wrist exhale fully now inhale fully once you have sufficient air in the lungs slowly synchronizing your exhalation bend forward once you reach the final position do not hold your breath try to inhale and exhale for few seconds then slowly synchronizing your inhalation slowly come back to vertical position okay that is called shashankasan or moon posture breathing next what we have learned while lying on the back while lying on the back feet together hands raised towards the head right leg up right leg is inhale down with exhale left leg up with inhale down with exhale like this you will do five times it is called alternate leg raise breathing next both leg raise breathing both legs up 90 degrees with inhale then down with exhale so like this we will do five times and then we have done instant relaxation technique okay next joints loosening in the joints loosening so how to do how to remember joints loosening starting from the toes toes ankles knees hip joints waist joints and then upper limbs fingers wrist elbows shoulders and then neck joint so first one is toes stretch okay so like this stretch your toes up and down next one ankle stretch like this so here we are not stretching the toes we are stretching the ankles okay next one ankle rotation clockwise five times and anti clockwise five times next one knee joints knees up and down lift your knee caps up and down with the help of your thigh muscles okay next knee rotation interlock your fingers hold behind the thighs proceed for clockwise and anti clockwise with right leg and left leg okay next half butterfly so take your right feet on the left side so see start flapping your right leg and then with the left leg it is called half butterfly okay next full butterfly how to do full butterfly interlock your fingers hold your toes bring your feet closer to the body so you need to bring your feet closer to the body so that heels come closer to the pelvic region then do full butterfly with full spin both legs up and down in equal phase do not give any jerks okay next your waist joints for waist joints what we do waist rotation spread your legs apart hold your uh, hold your hands like this proceed for full movement okay clockwise and anti clockwise next you can sit in padmasan vadrasan cross leg or any comfortable position finger stretch okay it is called finger stretch next wrist to stretch okay next wrist rotation make fist with your both hands clockwise and anti clockwise okay next elbows flex like this and then shoulder rotation clockwise five times and anti clockwise five times so wherever i am not telling about breathing pattern you can do normal breathing okay and then upper limbs okay after upper limbs we have learned neck exercises in the neck exercises we have four types first one is neck up and down with inhale up exhale down so do not give any jerks do slowly and consciously next one is side by side to the right with exhale and back to center with inhale then to the left exhale and back to the center like that five times next one is the exhale neck to the left then bring back to center to the right back to the center okay next one neck rotation your chin will touch the base of the throat proceed for clockwise and anti clockwise okay so this is uh, this is all what we have learned today and tomorrow we will continue with the <clears throat> other uh, we will continue tomorrow with the body loosening and then if we have time we will learn the surya namaskar tomorrow okay so let us end the session with the prayer let us end the session with a prayer everyone please sit in vadrasan please sit in vadrasan <clears throat> close your eyes 
keep your hands in the namaste position so please chant along with me or you can just observe <clears throat> ಸವಿತುರ್ವರೇಣ್ಯಂ ಭರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯಧೀಮಹಿ ಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಇನ್ಹೇಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹೀ ರಬ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಓಪನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಐಸ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ ದ ಹೀಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಐಸ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಟಚ್ ಯುವರ್ ಐಬಾಲ್ಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ನೇಕ್ ತ್ರೋಟ್ and slowly open your eyes so uh, please turn your videos on uh, we will just take the uh, group photo please turn your videos on so tomorrow we will continue at the same time at 7:30 7:30 to 9 okay so actually weekend classes i used to tell for 2 hours but uh, you know people uh, some few people right 2 hour they cannot spend even it is online okay so to make everyone comfortable i am making it as one one and a half hour okay so do not think that it is longer time okay if you go for physical classes as well you need to travel for 30 minutes to go there and again come back so definitely we are uh, using that time whatever we are spending in the uh, travel we are using it here online okay so let us uh, please turn your videos on one more okay so if you have any questions or if you want to talk anything you can feel free now you can unmute or you can turn your videos if you have any feedback you can share how it went today are you able to follow or if you have any other questions please let me know what is the easiest way to remember this asanas uh, easiest way i will give the uh, asana names rabbi i will give the names okay so, so that you can remember it that's good and also people who have knee pain and all it should not be a problem right yeah for knee pain and uh, we, they should yeah for certain exercises they cannot do like knee rotation and all hmm. good uh jyotish sir do you have any chart so that uh, we can easily follow sorry uh, do you have any chart yeah we have whatsapp group and actually for batch 9 we have whatsapp group there uh, i will be posting you know if i have any questions you can personally let me know or if any other things i want to share i will be posting in that group uh, batch 9 whatsapp group i am referring to the chart c h a r t do you have any chart which uh, chart for types the poses different poses and no. for suri namaskar we have chart i will share it when we go for suri namaskar for other things uh, i will just give the names of the postures what we have covered for that day okay uh, that way you can remember to practice but anyway we are going to practice for next one month right so definitely we will remember the names and we will learn the, these things and also you need to practice every day so for the uh, monday to friday you can practice every day so that you remember it okay thanks thank you any other questions or any feedback yeah teacher the kneeling position is a bit difficult <laughs> our, our practice yeah yeah sure sure actually certain things right it will take time uh, it will take time definitely will improve for example in initially few people not able to sit in vajrasan but at the end of the session for the prayer right you can see most of the people sat for vajrasan so thank you we will improve and uh, you know from, from our previous batches most of the people you know they shared lot of good experiences okay definitely you will get all those experiences and benefits for for every day do you have the uh, is it the same link or is it going yeah to... same link and for every day also we have same zoom link okay great
but daily practice do you uh, do the same like uh, talking no, like actually, what you are doing daily practice uh, there will not be any explanation and there will there will not be any talk so it will be practiced together uh, with, because the people who join my previous yoga sessions they will join for practice sessions okay and also new people also welcome to join and uh, the people who have joined for uh, for the first time right with few, few classes they will be able to catch it up and there won't be any explanation in a daily practice sessions which will happen from monday to friday in the daily practices are going to be couple of hours or is it one and a half hours it's going to be just to one hour actually from 7:20 to 8:15 am daily singapore time 7:20 Yeah, hi Jyotish. Uh, thanks for the session. It was nice. Is this session is certification provided uh, session or uh, uh, no? Actually, so not... far, uh, you know, we don't have plans for the certification to give. But actually, few people already asked me. Let us see whether we'll be able to provide. Okay. So based on the Thank based on the people attendance, right? And we will see whether we'll be able to provide or not. Okay. Great. Thanks. So if you have no questions, so let us meet tomorrow at seven thirty. So please be on empty stomach. So if you wake up at seven o'clock, so do not have tea or any other thing. Even uh, honey lemon water also please try to avoid. Just have normal plain water. Okay. So if you eat heavy food in night times, you might have observed today when you do like sheshanka sir, when you do like rapid breathing, you might feel some kind of stiffness in the chest level. So that is because of having food. I mean, uh, very late night food or because of having less sleep. Okay, so in the night times so you try to eat very lightly and moderately, and you can see the next day in the morning you can see with very good ease, and your body will be uh, at ease to do the postures. Okay, so thanks everyone, thanks for joining. Have a nice day. Bye bye everyone. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, you sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.